Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about dialog field event and actions. We'll see how you can handle a event and based on that event, how you can perform some actions. So as part of this tutorial, I'll take example of drop down where on the on the event of change of the drop down will perform some actions on containers means based on change event will hide and show the containers. So using this example will understand event handling in dialog fields. So what will cover in this example we will be having a drop down based on a drop down specific item will hide and show means if you choose a particular item in drop down a container will be visible or shown and other containers will be hidden right so let's say i have a item i author one based on author one i'll show you the first container here called author one and respectively so let me show you actual dialogue what we are going to achieve all right so this is my dialogue and i have this drop down this dialogue i showed you in previous tutorial so i have four values in this drop down based on let's say i choose two so the second container which is this this container this should be visible here this container should be visible and if i choose a other property let's say i choose this item third item so rest should be hidden and only the third one which is here should be visible should be shown let's see the node structure of this dialog so that you can understand it so here i have already explained in last tutorial this is my dialog again i have a container and i maintain all this hierarchy this tab so i have only one tab and again this author info is a container and if i go this is the fixed column right now i'm using only one column so it will contain my items here and again container and here i'm containing the actual items right actual fields the first one this is drop down if you go items you will see the four items here right author one author two author three and author four which has text and values right further i have four containers which hold other elements to so author one author two author three and four these are containers and these containers contain these values right these fields whatever you see here so how will i show and hide these container based on the change of these values so for this we'll add some classes to these fields okay so now let's understand using this graphic so this is my drop down and i have four containers right now it's containers you can have any field here right so what i'll do for this drop down i will add a class to this drop down okay keep in mind i'm adding this class to a drop down and now i'm adding a element data element called data hyphen cq dialog drop down show hide and target right inside this i'm adding this value right dot call this dot list option whatever you want to add right now so these two things i have added to drop down right how to add a class here and how to add a data element here that is a specific thing i'll explain and you have to memorize it you will be using this a lot throughout your event handlers in dialog right i'll show you in demo once i am done with this so what I'll do, I'll come back to my containers and inside containers, I will add a class here. The class, whatever, see, I added the same class to all containers. Again, I will add one more class here called hide so that those will be hidden by default, right? By adding this class, it will not hide. So add one more class called hide here. I'll show you. Okay. Once I'm done with this, now I'll add a element called data hyphen show hide value right and the, this value is this is a custom value whatever you want to add it but now what will add here this value will be binded to this drop down let's say this value will be the first item of this right first item value of this this one 
so when i change let's say i change the value of this drop down so by default all these will be hidden let's say i change the value in this drop down to first value author one so as soon as i choose value of that item will be author one and this one will be visible so same way when i choose author two rest of will be hidden and this will be visible so it's keep working in this way by default initially when the page load whatever value is whatever item is selected in the this drop down that will be visible so what is happening here right now i added only these classes and data element i did not write any event handler means to write event handler i have to write a jquery according to whatever added here one more thing you need to understand keep in mind these values these values are not standard you can write any value to it let's say you can write any value means any class here you can write any value here but keep in mind whatever value you added here that must be same here so that my event handler can identify this same thing you can add anything here keep in mind whatever we'll add here same we will write in our javascript event handler jquery event handler so i'm just writing it these things because you can relate this to core components this is the same thing is written in core components i will change these values and i'll show you as well at end of this tutorial okay okay so two things are important here first how you add a class to element so to add a class to element you have to write this gray knight class and here you can add your class here you can add multiple classes as well so this class will be available to the generated html element now how you add a data element data element means data hyphen and whatever you want to add so for that you have to create a node child node to a particular field or particular item and then inside this node you have to write this whatever the element you want and the value so what happened in generated html field or html uh, for this field it will have data hyphen and whatever the name you added here so that way we added two things to my drop down here now these i'm done with my drop down right now let's say the field means what hide and show you want what container you want to hide and show so what you will add it here come here and you will add here first the class here right first this class you will see gray knight class and i say hide and show the two classes right hide and show means hide and then whatever i added in that target right you can relate those two right and again i want a element as well so this element i have added here right this show hide target value author one and it should match to my the first value of my item drop down item yeah this value right same way i added for other container as well right class and gray knight this value two and that's it right now i have added this so once i have added this it won't work itself now you have to write a jquery handler to it right how we'll be doing it now let me show you so to write a jquery i added a client library called this aem geeks dot component dot dialog dot editor you can write a specific name so that these will be loaded in edit mode that is also one possibility but what i want i want to load this client library only when my dialog is open for that particular component so what happened so what i'll do go to the dialog node and add a additional property here let's say this extra client lib and add this client library so what happened when this dialog is open only then this client library will load so this is my just a tiny code which work right so what you must understand here we are not writing entirely jquery right this coral has defined its own namespaces there are other functionalities available so this aem coral is not entirely depend on jquery it's okay now let's understand what is happening here so i wrote a event handler where you see this specific namespaces these namespaces are specific to my aem library or 
let's say coral coral and granite library these have some additional methods and some additional event handling so what happened on foundation content load so this will load when my dialog is open so as soon as my dialog is open this will load now what is happening in line number five it's saying find this element right it's a plain jquery and you you will realize this is the class what we added in my previous step to our uh, drop down so let's search this okay here and let me search this drop down right if you see here this is a coral select coral select is the element created when you add a drop down i'll show you these uh, this documentation as well in next tutorial where you understand what is happening so here you will realize a class added here whatever we added using this class and this hierarchy this element will be found now if you see next line it says element means this is my element dot data means it will look for this data element and this we added in my previous step so you will see you will find here right this data data hyphen cq and the value is list hyphen option whatever we added so it will find this value now this target will contain this value right this value this one now i'm saying if if i have this value right this value will be used to find my targeted elements right i, I would say colon coral dot colon dot ready these are specific methods of coral means it's event handling which will check if everything is loaded or everything is ready it is similar kind of the events we have in jquery like document loaded or document ready so what i'm saying element and the component this component is what we have this right this this is my component so what i'm saying component dot change so if anything is changed this will trigger so what i'm doing here first i'm calling this method on load right whenever my entire dialogue is load and then on change so again i'm using this method so what is happening in this method that is important so you see target is this right so what happened and component is whatever i have this drop down so i would say what is the value of my component so whatever you selected whatever means drop down you have let's say you have three so value you will be having author three what we added and what i'm saying the find target so it will find this one right this one uh, you will see this list so how it will find now it will go in every wherever it find this class so if you go here and let me find this wall go this one see this is my container and it contain class this one because we added this dot this value so it will find all the devs which contain this right so what it is saying initially find this if it is not hidden just hide this class else what it should do we added this data element if you realize if you remember you will notice we added this data element as well see this data element right so it says filter all these devs whatever you find filter what filter on data hyphen show hide value and whatever the value so let's say in our case let's say i'm selecting third so what happened see third is visible it will come here it will check what is the value third is the value it will first hide all right if it is not hidden next it will check if it has this value data hyphen equal value is equal to three so if you see here let me select this you it find this value this thing right it will filter based on this so if find this filter it will remove hide class so it will visible as soon as we remove hide class it will be visible so that way this hide and show will work if you see here if i select one this one will be visible if i choose four the fourth will be visible so it's not magic if you want to change whatever i have added so if you go back and let me show you that ppt so here here you can add any value it's up to your choice you can add any value here right any value but this value and this value should match okay and drop down value and this value should match these can be anything as per your needs the important thing is whatever you added here 
so whatever you added there you have to write your event handler as per your needs right as per whatever you define there so next time what you can do same thing you can add to other components and same javascript or the same function same jquery event handler core i would not say jquery event handler this is specific for the coral event handler right because they you see the additional namespaces here so that can work for other components as well just load this and this will hide and show will work for other components important thing it's not necessary to have only container whatever the field you can have you can you know hide and show any field based on these classes add classes add a target value and just show hide will start working i hope you understood if you have any question add your comment thank you